with this. Um, I hope Chabi made me feel welcome. So, Hi Megan, I'm Roy from uh, the Fashion Queens. It's nice seeing you again. Yes, hello. <laughs> okay, congratulations everyone. So I have a question, two questions for you actually, Megan. So the first one is, um, uh, we know you had a, a very tough competition earlier. So what were you telling yourself to put you, to propel you forward throughout the whole time? Throughout the whole pageant, I was really scared and nervous, but all I can say, I had to stay positive at all time. I just had to have faith in God and just enjoy myself. Uh -huh. And second question is, when was the time that you thought to yourself that you had it in the back, the time of the crowd? Um, I actually did not expect the crowd, so I just did my part and now we see here on top of my head. Hi guys, uh, congratulations. I'm Tristan Francisco from the Philippine Pageantry. First, I would like to congratulate the five of you. Um, the be, uh, one of the best um, top five already. And then um, my first um, yeah, extra congratulations to is um, to um, Kalikasan. Uh, because uh, you mentioned in your interview earlier that you wanted to stop, but now you decided to move on because until you win a crowd, you finally won it tonight. So how do, how do you feel? I feel so happy and you know when when I experience a lot of failures I want to stop but when when I realized that when you decided to take to move forward that's the cue that you will be winning a crown. So you were asked earlier about um, talking to yourself two years ago and now after you won what's that message? Have have it changed? Congratulations, girls! I'm so proud of you. So proud of you, girl. Thank you. And now I'm with you, um, uh, Miss uh, Tourism, Mutiana Tilonio Tourism. You had bashers, yes. and I was informed that when you won your local contest, you had um, uh, this big, uh, people who do not believe that you, you can make it. So, what can you tell the bashers and for those other ladies who have experienced the same experience you had and won? So, what can you tell them? Well, sa mga taong nakakaranas ng discrimination, sa mga taong nagda-down sa kanila, um, just be yourself, patunayan mo na kung sino ka at ano ka talaga bilang isang tao. At sa mga taong hindi naniniwala sa akin, maraming salamat pa rin po. Dahil kayo, naging inspiration pa rin kayo para makuha ko Congratulations. And my last question, uh, rather, my last two questions is for, uh, the second to the last one is for the two runners up. Um, you came up too strong. Alakas ang dating nyo. And then you fell short because um, your emotions took hold of you during the final questions. But this is not the end of your career. We believe that we can see you in the national pageant and we can see you a winner for our national But So what can you, what have you learned in this pageant that you will make use in your future pageants? Uh, you, um, uh, you miss second runner up. Miss uh, I've learned that maybe we should control our emotions so that if the, uh, if the judge will be um, asking a question to you, you'll be just answering it strongly, directly, and giving a good answer. That's all. And Miss um, uh, like Estrada? What, like what she said, um, your friend also to be confident in every answer. You're so beautiful, you should be very confident. And then my last question is, of course, of course for the winner. Um, first, congratulations. But, maging straightforward tayo. Kani na ka natakot sa top five? Um, Now, siyang pwedeng manalo at hindi ka. Um, I, I can say that Miss Pugo, since she garnered the best in swimsuit and best in belt. But, all I can say, all of the girls are amazing and they have their all amazing qualities. Therefore, all you had to do was enjoy the show. And be yourself and be the yes. best. Congratulations, yes. ladies. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Good evening, ladies. Congratulations. Uh, my name is Jonas, representing Norman Norman uh, Blog. My first question to the second runner. You are compared to the, the recent Miss Vietnam. What do you think is your driving force that made you in the top five? Sorry, sorry. What, uh, what do you think is your driving force that made you in the top five? What do you in the top five? Uh, what driving me to become in the top five was... Uh, actually, this is my second pageant for the 
Bucknellman. I represented uh, Mukherjee Bucknellman 2016 before, so I joined Mukherjee in 2017. And um, I wasn't really, um, I, I was in the top 10 during the 2017, but now, actually, um, it really inspired me and motivates me that it's actually the same with um, Miss Tubao. It's not the last. I mean, there's still chances and there's more chances. If you're in your big, you should continue with what you love. Okay, congratulations. Okay, second question to Ethel. Uh, do you consider yourself as a pageant pro? And a follow-up question to that is, what will make you stop from joining pageants? For me, since I've been joining a lot of pageants since 2012, I believe that uh, I'm not yet that pro because, again, I experience a lot of failures and it just uh, suntok sa buwan, magka-corona ako, at ngayon-ngayon. Para sa akin, hindi pa rin ako ganun ka-pro. I will try my best to reach that uh, standard to be a pro. Okay. Uh, to the eventual winner, um, Megan, right? Yes. It's a bittersweet memory. It's a bittersweet victory for you tonight. Uh, what made you say that? It's a bittersweet victory. I was also a second timer with this pageant. I joined last 2015, and I guess I was really shy at that time. I'm very intimidated, but now I can say it is a sweet victory because I had a lot of sacrifices during this pageant. I was sick last night, and it's all worth it right now. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm extra passionate about 101. Hello, guys. Congratulations. You're all beautiful. Anyway, to the winner, um, what is your main advocacy throughout your reign? Um, as, okay. as a student nurse, my main advocacy is health awareness. I believe that uh, as a student nurse, if I properly educate people, we can prevent um, anything that can happen to them, like HIV awareness. Since here in Region 1, it is the rising is prevalent. So I believe that with my health education, I can promote that. It, and like what they always say, prevention is better than cure. So you're a nurse already? I mean, you're uh, a nurse or student? Oh, yes. Any questions, guys? Uh, Antonetta ko from Pageant Talk over the Philippines. Ang question ko lang, Pagkagising mo bukas, kasi first day niyo, anong unang-unang yung gagawin? Ah, uh, question ko para sa inyo lahat. Anong gagawin? First day? Kakain pa kayo ng marami? Maraming marami? Ngayon, kakain. Tulog? So I think 
uh, being different really is a uh, big um, um, factor to a pageant. So, what do you think, um, how do you think showing hair makes a lady special? Because it shows how beautiful a girl really is if she can really pull off the short hair. Thank you. So to do we know, Okay, kayo yung medyo sika ata, sabi mo kanina. Medyo masama yung pakiramdam mo, sabi mo. Yes, actually last night, so, mayroon ko akong flu. Uh, so like, we had to rush everything. Kailangan ko mag-take ng gamon. So, nawala lang kayo eh? Opo. Nawala lang kayo. Congratulations. Okay, for our last question, we have any other questions. Okay, as the rest of the clubber office naman nyo, and then so happy and so glad that here we are you know, we have our visitors. Kawaii na mga isang camera. Mga vloggers from Manila. And now, my, my, my question is, um, for, for Megan, please, you said to us about the that, you know, um, you have the intent to represent uh, our province as a national party. Do you think your background before the campaign? Ano yung factor, ano yung nagawa niya para, para sa pagkapanalo na siya? Since I had national and international experiences before, I believe that it also helped me as I was able to boost my self-confidence and self-esteem. And I can say that uh, I was able to show everyone the potential I had, not only physically but wholeheartedly as a person. And now for me, is for me, it's the reason why it's very We all know that there are girls, uh, Miss Claudia is so strict with about being uh, being happy in uh, a heritage of being a bitch, you know, uh, being heritage that there's a communion among the factor. Why do you think that umalik kayo dito sa province? Since I think it's your mom, or that's it's your mom and it's your dad na tagalawin So, bakit kayo pumod from San Tagalog Cebu? From Manila and from Amono, pumunta kayo at bumalik kayo sa Lago Union. Bakit? Anong meron ng Miss Lago Union at bumalik kayo na Lago Union? Para sa akin, it's my mom request to join this pageant. Gusto ko siyang maging proud sa mga narating ko at gusto ko i-grant yung request niya sa akin. Gusto ko po patunayan yung sarili ko, hindi lang doon sa lugar na and now for me, uh, we all know that your color is so distinct to the Chinese. What can you say something about your, the color of your complexion? I was so happy about the color of my color. Because it's really the color. Do you have any foreign plans? Your 
morals, wisdom, selves, because we all know what happened in our lives. Yes. Uh, first of all, I would like to say uh, the people of Sabitan for welcoming me wholeheartedly in their municipality and believing in me that I can be able to represent their town. And I, I want to give back to the people and let them feel secure because a lot of people know what happened back in Sabitan where the mayor was out. And for me, I want to be able to have that peace and organization. Thank you. 